Am Yisrael does not accept and cannot accept the world the way it is in its fallen state. Am Yisrael is very, by definition, revolutionary. Because I'll tell us, Avraham Avinu is called Avraham, or not tell us, in the, in the Breshid, he's called what? Avraham Haivri. And what did Chazal say on that? Why is he called Avraham Haivri in English? How do you say that? On the side, whatever. Aver. Right. So the, one, uh, the whole world, with its decadent culture and its, what they call civilization, is uh, with its idolatry. And we said idolatry is evil. Why? Because that separation, that fractured world, as opposed to the one. All the world is on one side, Chazal say, on one side of the river, like Ever, Ever Nahar. Ever, like Avram Ha'ivri, he's the, on the side of the river. Avra is on one side of the world, one side of the river, one side, and the rest of the world is on the other. This man that is this revolutionary against all of human culture, all of what is accepted as norm, as, as the world. He's the, uh, the weirdo. And that's what Chazal say. He's on one side of, and the rest of the world on the other. And he doesn't accept the way the world is. He can't go on. He just can't be one of the, you know, to be in, to flow with the, the crowd. As we see in all of his actions, I mentioned a little bit last week, of his, uh, he's not just a, makes a proclamation of monotheism that changes the world, as I'll show you a few sources about. Interesting quotes I think I'll have for you today. Uh, that that actually changes the world. But it's not just some religious proclamation, but the living of oneness, the living of goodness, this uh, a life that is open to all and loves all. Right? We mentioned the Avram Avinu, the believer of the one God, and he meets up with, we mentioned last week, right? The people that are the idol worshippers, that worship not only idols, regular idols, the sun, the moon, but they worship the, the mud on their feet. In other words, here, Avram Avinu, this great man of philosophy, of, but not just philosophy, of action, of goodness, and he meets up with this low life, so the lowest level of human decadence, of, and he brings him in with love, the love for all. And Chazal emphasizes, we show, again, he's an activist, he's not just a philosopher of monotheism. That monotheism obligates, like we said before, the connection to the divine ideal means living the divine ideal working to bring that good, that oneness, that harmony to all of creation. That is the essential trait, not only to him, but his seed after him, right? Who is Zaro Acharav. That is Am Yisrael. That is the Neshama of Am Yisrael, this divinely created soul that is not satisfied with the, the world as it is. Even in sometimes better societies, better cultures, but until the world reaches what the Neshama knows, what that implanted soul, that root, that fuel that drives this life force of the nation of Israel, Knesset Israel, is the absolute, what God knows to be good, what God wants for the world, that future idyllic form of creation, and not to be satisfied anything less than that. 